Hello and welcome back to some more Zero Escape Virtual Us War, but last time we didn't really do anything, we, uh, we, we didn't uh, go to any escape rooms or anything, but we did have some pretty interesting investigation sections with Phi, uh, talking about Alice, and apparently Luna died, apparently. Uh, Dio tried to bullshit his way into surviving because he's like, oh, I got a kid, and nobody believed him because he's a lying sack of shit. And let's be clear here, even if we didn't know that he was placing bombs all over the building to blow us up, I would still not believe him because he's a pathological lying sack of shit and no one likes him. But that's, you know, whatever. So that's, that's all. If you want to know more, you can watch the previous episode. But other than that, we're just going to keep going. Uh, I'm hoping we're going to get an escape room here soon. Boy. We're still on the route to get the Luna ending. We haven't encountered any, anything like this. According to this floor chart, it stops right here. But it clearly has to go beyond this point if we're going to get the Luna ending. Because there's no character symbol indicating it yet. So there's, there's going to be, it was the same thing with Temioji's ending. Temioji's ending ended right here until we bypassed the story lock. And then we got all this, oh. but whatever. We're just gonna keep keep pressing on and until we find something interesting here. Okay, the punch cave given me had been incredibly powerful, and my arms and legs still feel numb and tingly. Can you stand? Yeah. Can we just sit here for a moment, though? My body's gonna be fine, but I think I need a little time to get my feelings sorted out. I know that then we sat there in silence. No matter what I did, I couldn't get their faces out of my head. Tamiyoji, Clover, Cork. I hope they were all alright somehow, but I wasn't sure. We should go. How much time I passed before I finally stood up. And that was it. She turned and headed for the end of the hallway, feet dragging as if she were carrying something heavy. It was a moment or two before I followed. At this point, I don't even know. I don't even know anymore. This game is just... <laughs> it's tackling so much. There's so much to this game. What is this? What is this room? What is this room? Did you see the plaque on the door? Yeah, it said security. The footage from the surveillance cameras might run through here. Does that mean we'll be able to see what's going on in the rest of the facility? I'm not sure. Right now, all the screens are dark. Even if we could activate them, I doubt Zero is just gonna let us watch whatever we want. Yeah, I'm just... I'm worried about them. We don't know what happened to, D to K and Dio either. Yeah. Well, let's see what we can do here. Okay, well now that we're in the escape room, it should have yeah. unlocked more, right? Still no! Okay. Maybe, maybe after it says seek a way out, it'll unlock the rest of it. Because there's got to be more to this. This can't be the actual end of it. Because we're in an escape room, so there has to be, there has to be an escape block that'll pop up here soon. All right, here we go. Seek a way out. Time to get to some good old-fashioned puzzle solving. More importantly, has the flow chart been expanded? Ah, oh. There's so much left. Why is there so much left? Oh no, we're gonna be here forever. Okay. Well, this is gonna be, uh. I mean, I can assume this is gonna be an AB game. Uh. And then this. God, it's gonna take us forever to get this ending. Alright, well, let's. Alright, what? So this green chair, yellow chair, red chair, is there a blue chair? No, but there is. There is this area behind us. What's this over here? I see this. Uh, is this a lion? What's it? What's got? What's it got in its mouth? It's some kind of button, right? Looks like you can push it. I can barely make it out, but I think there's something carved on the surface. Uh, sun? Wait, so is this lion eating the sun? Yeah. Whatever. Right now we need to focus on getting out of here. I'm gonna push that button. That okay? Yeah, sure. Whoa! The lights turned off. I guess it's a light switch. Okay, but what did that do? Oh. I'm guessing that it Okay, I'm guessing we're gonna have to remember this and this okay, so It's the same pattern. It's just that one of them has red hexagons and green triangles The other one has green hexagons and red triangles and the pattern itself is pretty simple So I think we I think we'll be able to remember that but I do see two hourglasses over here uh, Hourglass is red sand hourglass is yellow sand Okay, good to know. Uh, is there anything? Okay, so what? Is there anything else supposed to do while the lights are off? Uh, is anything down here we can? Are, are there any other hidden patterns that? Oh, there's something down here. Oh God, there's. Okay, I'm guessing these are gonna be related to the the color of the stair. So this is red. This is purple. This is cyan. This is yellow. This is green. The top is dark blue. It looks like. Okay. So, am I gonna have to write all these down? I'm gonna have to write all these down, aren't I? Okay, uh, I am not gonna make you sit through.
through this. I'm gonna speed this up. Okay, so let's open this new page. Uh, we'll draw a line here. I said we'll draw a line here so that we can separate out this. Okay, uh, I'm gonna be here forever. Okay, all the codes have been written down. So, I think that's everything that's hidden in this room that we can't see with the lights on. So, I don't know what we're gonna have to do with all this, but we have the information. It's all written down. The lion in the wall. Okay, turn the lights on. Yeah, do it. Great. The lights have been turned back on. Okay. Now, what... Where do we actually use the information? I'm, assu I'm assuming that we would do it with one of these... Uh, one of these things. Uh... Is this maybe 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 if we open up the this is something hiding here we can use? Uh, okay. So can we? It looks like we got nine switches. A little thunderbolt icon up here. My guess is these are a bunch of power switches. Hmm. They're all red. Does that mean they're all off? How about you try and flip some of them? Well, why don't we just turn them all on? Did you hear something? Yeah, I did. Kind of a starting up sound. Let's just turn everything on. There's no reason to not turn every single one of these switches on. Just so we have the most amount of. Unless this is unless it's the pattern we're supposed to use for the hexagons and triangles, but I doubt it because it wouldn't match perfectly. So we'll just let's turn everything on, and does that turn all the monitors on? Aha! It turned all the cameras on. Oh, okay. This isn't of much use to us because we can't see anything. I mean, we can see the rooms, but we can't see anybody in the rooms. Uh, so so this is the elevator, the warehouses, the the golem bay, the rec room, the pantry, pantry, the lounge, the infirmary, and then the uh, the crew quarters. Also, I really like this. This music is really good investigation music. I really, I really like, or uh, puzzle song music or whatever. I really like this. Okay. Anyway, uh, so is there anything else that turned on? No. Okay. Did, did seriously none of these things? It's a chair. Yeah, but it's red. Oh wait, do we have to? Let me guess. Uh, red chair, yellow chair, green chair. Uh, do we have to use these passwords for each in individual thing? Aha. Okay, there we go. All right. So, uh, let's. I think we need to put in a password. Okay, I'll give it a shot. Password, okay, can we access? All right, so this one is T-M-J, uh, Y-U-V-G-J, -G. okay, so T-M-J-U-V-G-J, -G -G. check. That was not correct. Did I not, okay, did, did, I, did, I, did I write it down wrong? T-M-J, uh, Y no not not that uh Y U T M J Y U V G J Okay I must have just typed it wrong the first time Whatever that's fine Uh did it work I guess so Good job Ha Cakewalk Sure did you see this icon the one in the upper left corner Yeah Okay I wonder what this icon means Well there's only one way to find out right Very true Change the colors to the correct ones by clicking the hexagons and triangles. Remember, you only have four moves to complete this puzzle. Okay, so obviously we need to we need we need to make this look like the the one on over on the on the the left side wall. So the left side wall had purple uh, hexagons and green triangles. So I'm guessing that if I tap these things, it's gonna change the shapes around them to match the color we want them. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, so in that case. Uh, if we just touch these, it'll change them around. Yep, there we go. Okay, nice and easy. Nice and easy. I, I can't tell if the puzzles are getting easier or if we're just getting better at solving. Because every t every puzzle game has their own kind of style to it. I know that sounds obvious, but like, e even if you're a great problem solver, every game has its own like little kinks and things like that that you have to kind of work around and get used to. Like styles of puzzles you have to kind of acclimate to. So over the course of the game, you get more accustomed to those to that style. I know it sounds like an obvious thing to say, but it's just I, it's like it is sometimes stuff to tell if it's just you getting better at solving puzzles or if the puzzles are getting easier as the game goes on. Anyway, ha! How do you like that puzzle? It's too easy to celebrate. Check your screen. You got a new icon. Okay. Hmm. What was that noise? Nothing happened on the screen. Look up. The one above you. The one over your head. Huh? The 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 what? Oh, uh, that's not creepy at all. Will be me. Let me guess. We have to solve a puzzle on each of these chairs, and then we'll get a we'll get a a, a completed message. Uh, this one's the same. Barely touched it. It's ready to go. Okay. So, uh, oh, let's go put in a password. So I'm guessing this one needs to be the green. The green one was A D G B. A D G B. Check. Perfect. All right. Th this room. Seems pretty easy so far. I'm guessing this. I'm guessing we just have to do the same thing over here. Uh, to switch, switch them around. Okay, so, uh, 
Oops. So obviously switch these to switch them around. Cause this this one has to be this one has to be the uh, the green hexagons and purple triangles. Uh, so now now actually if we just hit these this will that'll flip these around and this will flip these around. Yep. There we go. Two. Oh, we're too good. We're too good at the game. Okay. Uh, figured it out. Not bad. My reward. Ha. Nice try. Looks like Zero's got something for you though. I mean this new icon. Right. Uh, let's press it. Now it's on the monitor above our heads. And what's this one gonna say? It's going to say, I was, I was you. I was, you will be me. Okay, is, is the middle monitor gonna be the, the final piece of the puzzle? Okay, this one's switched on just like the other two. Looks like it. Uh, another password, Vegas right Sigma. All right, memo, uh, yellow. All right, so the yellow one, S, G, D, Q, and Y. S G D Q N Y boom. There we go. All right. So what's this one gonna be? Ah, it's gonna be the hourglasses. Okay, done. Good. That's all of them then. Oh well done. Would it really kill you to uh, take that disdain down like 10%? Yes. <laughs> Look at the corner of the screen. Icon. Okay. First things first. So this hourglass has yellow sand. It has an 11 on it. Okay. And this one has red sand. It has a four on it. Okay. So four red and yellow eleven. Is this icon supposed to be an hourglass? Touch it to find out. Right. Uh. Uh. We only have two hourglasses. This. There's five here. Um. So we can solve some of this. So it's oh four, and then the yellow has to be eleven. Okay. Well, that's that's not gonna. Uh, it's, it's clear that th there's gonna be, um... He changed his name to Vsauce? Of course he did, okay. What does this button do? Nothing, great, uh... Oh, 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 it's, never mind, okay, that, okay. I, I, I don't need the hourglasses all, it's, it's the, uh, it's the number of things in them. Okay, so one, two, so that, so that lines up, so that, that is four, so that one's correct. And I'm guessing two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay, so yeah, so this is still eleven there. Uh, blue, one, two, three, four, seven, okay, so, oh, seven, uh, green. So, oh, 9, and then we know this, we know that's 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, 10. Okay, and then this one's 15. Boom! Okay, I, I thought... I, I was calling a conversation because I thought I thought we had missed some hourglasses, but then I actually looked at the things on screen, I'm like, oh, wait, it's showing me how many are there. Okay, great. Ha! Got it! Hmm, not bad. There's another icon on the screen now. Yeah, there is. Uh, hey, hold on in there. Aren't you curious about these screens up here? Huh? I... I I guess we have to check the screens, okay. These are from security cameras, I thought so. Hey, what about Temiochi, Clover, and Quark? Can you see them anywhere? You can see just as well as I can. There's nobody there. No D or K either. Might as well take a good look at it though. Damn, nothing. That sure was worth it, wasn't it? That, that sure was worth taking a look at it. Can I press the button now? What did it change to? Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh... Okay. Uh, okay, so it, 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 we, we, have, we have two pieces. We had uh, uh, will be me and I was you. So I was you, will be me, she knows everything. Okay, so do we have to eliminate all the words that aren't, the, the, so eliminate all the words that are on the screens maybe? Uh, let's, let's, let's give that a shot, okay. Uh, so can we, we can't, okay, never mind. I thought, I thought, I thought maybe we'd be able to, to get rid of, oh, wait, no, oh, oh it's, it's the thing. They, are. Uh, oh, wait, no, I know, I know. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. I think, I, maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, well, let me, let me give it something a shot. We, we can control these with the, with the, with the control panel, right? Uh, so, if I'm correct, so I was you, will be me. I, uh, okay, so everything except the bottom right, bottom middle, and, okay. So, so let's give this a shot and see if this works. Uh, let's go over here. And turn off everything except those. And is that gonna do anything? Did that work? Did we do it? Maybe. Words on the nine screens above me. I guess I'm supposed to make a specific sense with them. So I can move them around with the screen in the console. Okay. Uh, so let's go down here to the console. Uh, da -da -da -da. Rearrange words, create a specific sense. Okay, so now we can put them like here. Alright, never mind. I thought I was on something there, but apparently. Apparently, I was, uh, I was not onto something. Uh, hmm. Okay. So, I... 
Maybe. Oh, uh. uh okay. That's weird. I. Why did it have to be down there? Why did it have to be in the bottom? Okay, that's that's just confusing. I. Maybe I missed something, but I, I don't see a reason why they had to be in the bottom row. Okay, so... So this will give us the... Alright, uh, star, star, sun. And I'm guessing, I'm guessing we have to do the reverse to get the secret password. We have to turn off uh, just she knows everything. And then everything else... And then leave everything else up there. That's probably what that is. A new state password, huh? Okay. Uh, and then that'll turn off. Great, okay. Found a password. Yes, we did. Okay. So now let's go back over to the control panel. And turn off. Oh, it completely reset. Okay. So this time we'll turn everything. We'll turn on everything except the ones, uh, except the ones that say she knows everything. And then we'll. I guess then we'll just form these two sentences. I was you. Uh, will be me. We'll give this a shot. All right. Uh, I guess we'll try. Maybe it, it, it's either gonna be like they have to be on the left and right, or it's gonna be they have to be. Excuse me, on the top and bottom. Excuse me. Or it's gonna be neither of them. Maybe they have to be on top of each other. Okay, that that's con I, that confused me. I, I don't know why they have to be specific. Like I get arranging them next to each other so that they form the correct sentences, right? But what? Why do the rows matter? Why does that matter? Look, screen changed. Yeah. Okay. So then this will give us a secret password. Uh, sun, uh, sorry, moon, uh, why did I say sun? Moon, sun, star, okay, great, got it. Uh, so then we'll head back out of the thing. Th this room was very easy. Like, th this room felt a lot easier than the other ones, okay. Uh, let's open this up. Da -da 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 -da. Star here, star here, sun here. There we go. There's our first password put in. And there's the gold file that I cannot read, because spoilers. Now we'll go back in one more time. Moon, sun, star. And there's the real password. Now, what's gonna be in here? Uh, it's gonna be just the, oh, lame. I thought it was gonna be something cool. It's just the star keys and the, and the key to get out of here. Okay. Uh, that's what we need, so let's go ahead and, all right, let's get going. Indeed, let's get going. Back out. And the, the exit door is gonna be over here to the left-hand side. Get the key out and ready to go. And use them on this lock. Lock for the door. It says lock. I'm gonna open it, okay? You ready? Of course I am. Let's get on with it. Right, here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Alright, that room was good. I mean, it was easy, but it was still... That was actually really short. I'm gonna keep the episode going a little longer. Wait, I just realized something. Oh no, that's never good. It's, it's, never, good, it's never good when we don't leave the room immediately. That's never a good sign. Um, but yeah, the... I'm gonna keep the episode going a little bit longer, because that was a pretty short escape room. What's that? When we were looking at the security footage earlier, we were just looking for live feeds. We were trying to figure out where the others are, what they were up to, if they were alive, and so on. But we totally forgot that security systems like this can do more than show you live footage. Are you following me? Yeah. You're talking about stuff that's been recorded, right? Footage of the past. If they store that, we might be able to see it. Yeah. I don't know how much luck we'll have, but it's worth a shot. Definitely. Uh, what do we do? Leave that to me. Com computer whiz spy at it again. You know how to use this well, thing? it was designed so that a human could operate it. That means there's a logic to how it's set up. A computer computes, a calculator calculates, and an automobile mobiles. Everything's designed to do something. And once you know what, you can start guessing how. Once you start to figure out how to get it to do things, it's just a question of playing with it until it does the things you want it to. To be clear, Fi is probably my favorite new character. Like, obviously we have Junpei and Akane, and they're, they're in their own little bubble. But out of the new characters, Fi is clearly the most intelligent out of the bunch. See? Looks like this is it. The good work. Knock it off. Makes it sound like you're better than me or something. <laughs> Sig- Sig- There's not a lot of people that Sigma's better than. They're like, there's Dio, and that's about it. Like, that's- that's- Bottom of the barrel trash is where like Sigma's a better person than Dio because Dio's trying to blow us all up, but like apart from that, bottom of the barrel. Let's be clear. Wait. What the heck is this? Everything says no data. Hmm. Uh, let's check the log. Damn it. This isn't good. Looks like all the video data was removed before we got here. By that zero? Would be my guess. All it says here is administrator. Damn. Well, that's a little frustrating. That footage could have told us a lot. Yeah. 
It might have given us what we need to figure out who the killer is, too. The camera in room two in the crew quarters would have recorded what happened to Alice and Luna. Same for the old woman in the warehouse. And if there was a recording of us being carried into the AB rooms, we could have even figured out who Zero Senior is. Hey, what's this? You wanna open it? Yeah. It says Gollum status. That should be the system logs of those robots. I told you about them in the pantry, remember? Yeah. You mean the room full of robots on the other side of the green door? Yeah. Here we go. Shoot. Wait, hold on. We have the GTM CMG OLM. Where's where's where 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 where, where where's our guy? Where 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 is he? he he's not here. No, no golem's not here. No, no, I don't see him. But these are definitely the tags of the uh, of the robots. But I don't, I don't see him anywhere. No, Gollum, no. Looks like it. Guess there's anything we can. Wait a second. What is it? There's a scroll bar. Try scrolling. No, no, Gollum, no, no. What do you mean? I thought you told me Gollum or whatever his name was started spitting smoke and keeled over. Yeah, but we but we said that his what it passes for a golem's brain, I guess, was the main computer. Only his body was disabled, his frames were probably functioning. Oh, we see his logs. Well, yeah, but I mean it's, it still says he's inactive. Like Here that, that part hasn't changed. <laughs> then hmm, try the one that says cash. Hmm. These file names almost seem like random characters. Whatever. Just pick one and open it, I guess. Sure. This is yeah, that's what I thought. It's probably from right after K decked us. Well, we'll be tossed into that white door on the left in a minute. Just watch. See? Interesting. This is the footage the Gollum pulled from the main server. The original data was deleted, but it looks like the stuff he pulled is still here. Exactly. So, if we go back through these files... Yeah. We might be able to figure out who the killer is, maybe even who Zero Senior is. Nice. Great work, Sigma. Come on, I told you I don't need you kissing my ass. Besides, it's not like I really did anything. We started going through the rest of the files. The security footage showed K and Dio clearly passing through the right door on the far right. Good. Looks like they're both fine. It is these Tenmyoji, Clover, and Quark. I opened my mouth to continue and then it happened. Oh. My vision suddenly blurred and shaking my head did nothing to clear it. I staggered my balance gone. What the f- was that? Um, wh what? What? Uh, uh, chills down the spine. What? What? Why are you talking like that? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> no. No, 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 I don't, no, 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 no. Oh, I don't like that. No, that needs to not. No, no, you need to not. No. No, 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 no. That's fine. You can, you can not talk like that. I'm good. You don't need to talk like that for me. No, 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 no. You're good. You're good. Fine. She sounds like she's someone's playing a tape of her voice all sped up. What's going on here? I can't understand what she's saying. <laughs> Why do you sound like a chipmunk? And why is she moving so fast? It's like watching a video on fast forward. What the hell is- Wait, could it be me? Maybe my brain is slowing down somehow. It just looks like everything's speeding up. I still couldn't make out what she was saying, so I just nodded weakly. My eyes were just shut as I tried to sort out what was happening to me. Uh, what is this game? I woke up several minutes later. When I opened my- I like how you- I, I like how the idea that you would have a, any way to know how long it's been the instant you wake up. Like, I was asleep for three hours. When I opened my eyes, the first thing I saw was the ceiling of the security office. I sat up slowly rubbing, rubbing tenderly in my head. Phi, who had been sitting in front of one of the monitors, stood up and walked over as soon as she heard me move. You okay? Her voice sounded normal again, and she wasn't moving strangely either. Whatever had been happening seemed to have stopped. I let out a quiet sigh of relief. Yeah, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. Are you it. sure? Yeah. Well, that's good. You really looked like you'd lost it for a minute Oh, there. he lost it, all right. Well, I seem to have found it again. This is the security office. Maybe they got a lost and found? Your sanity is pretty easy to miss. I'm surprised anyone found it, let alone turned it in. <laughs> well, looks like I don't have anything to worry about. Yeah, I think I must have just be getting tired. Kind of surprised it didn't catch up to me sooner. I hope that's all it is. You haven't caught a disease or something, have you? For just a moment, I thought of Radical Six, but I didn't want to worry Five if I didn't have to. Better to stay quiet about it. Well, you're looking a lot better, so I can stop worrying, right? I wouldn't go that far. What are you, my mom? Fine. No more check-ins. Anyway, 
I figured something out while you were resting. Come have a look at this. You know, just because I'm paranoid. Okay, good. I there's a part of me that thought actually we don't need this anymore. There's a part of me that was worried that maybe uh maybe the uh the 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 the, the thing that Sigma just underwent, like clearly something went wrong with him there. I don't know what, but something did. Whatever it was might have been a result of or not been a result, but it might have led to his memory getting wiped or something, or something to that effect. I don't know. I I, I don't have a justification for what I'm doing, but I just I had a I, I I had a paranoia that maybe whatever happened to him might have caused part of his memory to get erased, which might have caused my notes to get erased, which might have caused the bombs to get the bomb codes to disappear, which also would have caused me to not be able to beat this game. So just just a little paranoia, just making sure it's all still here. We're we're good. Footage from room two in the crew quarters. The room where we found Alice and Luna. I dug it out of Gollum's cache. When was this recorded? I'll see you in a minute. Up there on the right, it looks like it's got a time code. Can you figure it out? No, because it's blurry. There's a bunch of numbers can't make heads or tails. Yeah. But... The central server seems to be using its own time system. Files appear to be named based on that system. They might as well be random to you and me, which made it pretty hard to find this gem. Huh? Oh, it's K. Yeah. He looks, he looks at his bracelet here, probably checking out how much time is left. I'll just pause that and magnify it. 21 minutes. So that means this footage is 21 minutes before the primary doors open, right? Exactly. And that would have been this, the white doors in this case, right? Yes. After Kay leaves this room, it's about two minutes before he comes back with you and me. There were 20 minutes on the clock when we met up with him, right? So that means the one we're seeing here is Kay one minute before it saw us. Right. That means this is right after we try to resuscitate Luna. Yeah, if you believe him. The footage here doesn't show any of that. Wait a minute, how would he have tried to resuscitate Luna when he's in a robot mask? Walk, walk me through that. I mean, okay, yes, you can you can do the chest palpitations uh, as, as the part of CPR uh, without actually having to... I mean, I, I'm, not, I'm not CPR certified, just to be clear, but I, I know the general steps of, like, you know, pressing down the chest, blowing air in through the mouth and all that. How exactly did he do the blowing air into the mouth part if he's in a mask? Walk me through that. Are there any other angles? I looked around, but I couldn't find one. The only stuff left is shot from this position. Even so, I think we've gotten our hands on something important. You mean that this is a record of what happened right around the time of Luna's death, right? Exactly. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, let's keep going. I'll move back to the start of this file so we can see it in chronological order. Let's say this is zero hours, zero minutes. After all, it's not like we know what time it actually is. So, this is the start of our footage. There's no one here. Yeah, about a minute goes by before anyone shows up. Wait, how do you know it's been a minute? This. Oh, that's the hourglass we used earlier. Yeah, if I play it back at normal speed, I can measure time using this hourglass. Then I just add the time from the hourglass, and that's how far in we are. Yeah, but, the, I mean, you can't really measure like the hour doesn't have a timer on it you just know how much sand fell through huh like you, you can't you can approximate based on how much sand is up but you that's still not much better as a measurement tool for, for what we're dealing with right now which is time codes on a video camera system luna is that clover behind yeah. her this is zero hours one minute right now you and i are talking to dio in the floor b warehouse with the time frame we've established calculating what we're doing is pretty easy What's going on? Are they fighting? No, it's not really fighting. It looks like Clover's just going off on Luna. Luna's just saying silent listening to her. Yeah. Can we hear them? Is there an audio track? Can I listen to it? What the hell is this? I don't know. The audio data must have been transcoded into something else. Well, we won't be able to understand anything in that. Seen enough? I'm going to fast forward a little bit. Huh? Clover's interrogation goes on for a while, but it's all pretty much the same thing. Now, at zero... Here. Hey, they're gone. As I watched Clover move steadily toward closer to Luna, who backed away almost as if she were frightened. Clover continued her advance until she disappeared below the bottom edge of the screen. Is there another? Oh no, you said this was it. Yeah, this is the only one that I found. Shouldn't be too hard to guess what happened after you've seen the next part, though. Clover left. She looked like she was kind of panicking. Yeah, this is about a minute and 40 seconds after they both left the frame. So zero hours, 11 minutes, 40 seconds. Only Clover left. Luna's still in the room. That means... Hold on. Wait until you've seen the whole thing before you start deducing. At zero hours, 12 minutes, another person comes in just missing her. Dio. 
He disappeared too, down below the bottom of this frame. What's he up to? I don't know, but I'm pretty sure that whatever it was, he doesn't want us to know about it. Why? Remember what he said when you asked him about Quark? How the fuck would I know? I've been here. He's saying he was lying. Of course he was lying. He wasn't in the Floyd warehouse the whole time. He went to the crew quarters after we left him. Yeah, so what would have been important enough for him to lie about it? We should consider that it might have been something bad. And whatever it was that happened during this time. Yeah, I think... Yeah, Alright, now he's left. And it looks like he's left in a hurry. Maybe he heard a noise. Like what? The cyan door opening? Now... Ten seconds after Dio leaves, a fourth person shows up. That brings us to zero hours, thirteen minutes, ten seconds. It's K. Ah. When he heard K open the sign door, he panicked. Whatever he was up to, we didn't want K to catch him at it. And then K disappears too. Yeah, below the bottom of the frame is like the if others. K was telling the truth. This is where he begins to try and resuscitate Luna. Anyway, nothing happens for the next sixteen minutes. It's just this, so I'll fast forward, all right? Sure. All right, should be around here. One sec, okay. You should see something you recognize in a minute here. It's Kate coming in from the bottom of the frame, and he's checking the time on his bracelet. Hmm, so we've come full circle, yeah. huh? Yeah. We're back to 21 for our arbitrary time code, that's zero hours and 29 minutes. One minute later, at zero hours, 30 minutes, K heads to the Floor A warehouse. Once he gets there, he'll tell us about Luna's death. That's all the footage I wanted to show you. I've looked at it carefully, and I think it has something to tell us. You mean who killed Luna, right? Well, I can't say for sure. This footage makes for pretty shaky evidence, but it does suggest a very likely culprit. Who do you think it is? I ran over the footage in my head. Zero hours, one minute, Clover and Luna enter the room. Nine minutes, Clover aggressively questions Luna. Zero hours, ten minutes, they both move out of frame. Out, zero hours, eleven minutes, forty seconds, Clover exits the room. Zero hours, twelve minutes, Dio enters the room. Dio also immediately exits the frame. It seems likely that Dio was up to no good during this period. Zero hours, thirteen minutes, Dio exits the room. Uh, K enters the room. K, K also disappears from the camera's field of view. At this point, there are sixty minutes where nothing happens. Zero hours, twenty-nine minutes, K enters the frame. He looks at this bracelet. It says zero, zero, twenty-one, the remaining time until the primary door is open. There seems to be only one conclusion. The person who killed Luna is- I did- What makes you think so? I didn't- <sighs> Thanks, game. I love it when that happens and I just choose- Thank Thanks, game. Loving it. I love- I love it when I- I, I, lo I love it when that happens. That's my favorite. Like, I would have picked Clover anyway because she has the motive to do so. And if it was Dio, then he would have- He would have said something like, Hey, where's Luna? I don't know, where's Lu when Luna is when we were back in the, uh, when we were back in the warehouse, and she, he, he said nothing, so clearly he doesn't have anything to hide. Clover has a motive, he doesn't, uh, and room. given how really aggressive she was, it, based on the evidence we have in the, in the camera, it, it's probably her. I, I would pick her anyway, even if the evidence we have is very shaky at the moment, it's just annoying that the game just, like, it just progressed me straight to the that, choice without me having to stop and actually hmm. examine the options, it's just annoying. I told him I wouldn't leave their people to die, three people to die, do you remember what Dio said? Use your fucking head for once. You're gonna get us killed. He obviously knew that only you and I would be going through that door. Do you get it? Yeah. He knew we had Luna's bracelet, which means he also knew Luna was dead. Is that what you're getting at? Exactly. If he didn't know she was dead, he would never have said that. The moment Kay suggested we go through the doors, he would have brought it up. That's impossible. How are they supposed to get through that, that Luna? But he didn't even mention her. Like, he didn't expect her to be there. Why would he do that? I can only think of two reasons. One, that when Dio entered the room, Luna was already dead. Or two, he killed Luna himself. The second one doesn't seem likely, though. If Dio had killed Luna, they probably would have made a point to hide that. I'm guessing he probably would have asked where she was. Where's Luna? Sigma and Phi wouldn't be able to get through the white doors without her. He seems like the kind of guy who would go out of his way to feel feign ignorance of a crime he committed. In this case, though, he said nothing. Doesn't clear him, of course, but it does make him a lot less likely that he was the killer. If he wasn't the killer, then we're left with only other one other option. When Dio entered the room, Luna was already dead. Yeah, that's how I see it. Interesting. It's pretty much what I thought, too. And it does seem like Clover had a motive. You mean what Alice noticed? Yes. The movement of the AB rooms convinced Alice that Luna had killed the old woman. Once Clover realized that, she probably started to think that Luna had killed Alice to keep her from telling anyone else the truth. She probably led Luna to the crew quarters to confront her. Maybe she hoped seeing Alice's corpse would cause Luna to confess. Maybe she knew something we don't. But Clover didn't get what she wanted. 
Luna didn't confess. Then, during her interrogation, something happened. It's hard to say what. Luna might have said something that set Clover off. Or, maybe she admitted to a crime she didn't commit just to get Clover to stop, whatever it was. Something happened that drove Clover to murder. When did when did Clover get the injection gun? I would guess after she went through the yellow door, she would have been exploring the infirmary with Alice and Kay. That seems the most likely place to find it. Anyway, this is all just a theory, right? A game theory. We don't have any proof, so keep it quiet, okay? Yeah, I know. Are we finally gonna leave the room now? Oh, there was one last thing. Was there any other footage that showed anything? No, nothing to tell us where Clover, Tenmi, Oji, and Quark went. And nothing about the old woman or Alice's murders either. So Zero Senior's identity... Still unknown. Okay, well let's go find Clover. I guess we're not going to know... Uh... What? The truth unless we get it straight from the horse's mouth. I wonder if Clover's even alive. She is. She has to be. I sure hope so. I still can't believe that Luna's dead in her end. Like this is her ending. This is this is the Luna ending, and she died in her own ending. And and not even as like the capsule of the end. It's like midway through, before an escape room, she was already dead. Which is insane to think about. But anyway, that'll be it for now. Actually, uh, how? Okay, so we still got a ways to go to get the Luna ending. Um, but for the time being, I think we're gonna call the episode off here. So that'll be it for now. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned next time to catch you all tomorrow for some more Zero Escape vs. Dust Award. Goodbye.